last night my husband and I sat down and we worked on a bit of a list of what we want to accomplish by the end of this week when the rains come. We're expecting a lot of rain on Friday night or starting Friday night and I think it's going through the whole weekend and we have a bit of a drainage issue in some parts of the garden. Some, one of the reasons why I planted those plants yesterday is to try to limit that, but those are going to take a little while to grow. Uh, but what we need to do is put some garden beds in, or borders, <laughs> to stop the water uh, coming off the grass and washing away the side of the fill. I'm very bad with words this morning. It's Coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Um, we have a lot of drainage issues around the property and we really want to try to limit those. So we've put, put together a really comprehensive plan of what we want to do today, tomorrow, and the Friday morning before the rain comes. So today's Wednesday. Um, and we're going to get stuck right into it. We've got some plants we need to plant. Um, I've got some trees, some fruit trees that were given to me as gifts and or at least one was given to me as a gift and then I bought the other one and then I've got a couple of uh, berry bushes that I also want to plant that were given to me as gifts. The same friend that gave me the cuttings yesterday gave me those berry bushes so I've got a raspberry and a young berry that I want to get into the ground before the rain comes so they can get nice and settled um, before it gets too hot as well. Like you can see I'm not really dressed for summer today again, cardigan on. I think it is forecast to be around 28 degrees here today, but it is definitely a bit fresh this morning. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a lot of jobs to get done. Um, some plantings, we've just ordered some dirt to come and get delivered. And I think my husband also ordered a, an excavator for, to, for hiring tomorrow to do some more heavy work. So we've got a few busy days. I'm not sure how much I will get recorded. We're going to have dirty hands, going to be busy outside, but I'll see what I can capture for you. Um, but it should be interesting to see the um, progress over the next few days. It's really nice when we get stuck into these jobs to sort of see the before and afters. It makes me feel like, yeah, we are moving forward, even though some days it does not feel that way. <laughs> So I'll try to take you along and see what we can capture and hopefully um, you enjoy seeing our process today. <laughs> I had to reheat my coffee when I came back from the shop. <sighs> That's delicious. Okay, let's get started. This is the apple tree that I got for my birthday for my mother-in-law. So we'd like to get this into the ground. And then I also purchased this nectarine tree. My son loves nectarines, my oldest son, especially white ones. So hopefully this gives us nice fruit over the coming years. It actually was already fruiting when I purchased it. So I've covered it up. I probably should take the fruit off, but at the same time, it's been really lovely to see the fruit develop. It's tiny. There are a few there, but once I get it into the ground, I might take them off to give the tree a chance to focus on rooting into the soil. This is the raspberry bush that my friend gave me, and it's basically propagated from her raspberry plants. Now this is the young berry plant that I was given as well, so. My friend, like I said yesterday, her garden is very lovely. She's got amazing produce growing in her gardens as well as other ornamental plants. Um, but her fruit and veg are just to die for. So I'm very grateful to her for offering me these lovely plants and I'm excited to get them into the ground. Now the final thing for today for planting are these two passion fruits. We bought these a few weeks back now. We've just been waiting for them to sort of prop up a little bit because we did plant a few in the ground a few months ago and a couple of them we lost. So I'm going to prepare the ground a little bit more today. Get rid of the old ones, the ones that have crunchied up and replace them with these two. 
So yeah, a little bit of planting today. But we'll get these six plants into the ground. And that's usually quite a big job in itself, but we've got other things we're planning to do too. So we'll see how far we get today. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love Joy, mm -mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I'm making plans What we're gonna do I feel so blessed That I can be with you God knows that I've been longing for ya yeah, I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk And we can follow the moon Like till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you got the plants in and a bunch of dirt has been delivered so we're starting to spread that out and progress is being made. I am feeling really tired but I'm really enjoying the opportunity to sit and knit while I wait for my son to come home from school. <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> Uh, so he catches the bus home, but we need to pick him up from the bus stop. We drop him off at one in the morning and we pick him up from a slightly different one in the afternoons. Just because it's a little bit more convenient depending on the time of day. I look tired, don't I? <laughs> uh, but yeah, the house is just a little bit too far for him to walk from the bus stop to home, no matter which bus stop he goes to. So... Generally speaking, um, someone picks him up if we're home. If I'm at work, he drives home with me. So his school is really close to my work. He walks down once he finishes and waits for me downstairs. And then we drive home together. So that's our usual routine. But whilst I'm not at work, whilst I'm on leave, um, this is our current routine that one of us will come pick him up from the bus stop. Usually on the way home, we will also check the PO box and do any grocery shopping <laughs> if we need to. Now it's been such a busy day in the garden today that I'm not even sure what we're doing for dinner yet. I know we have some leftovers from last night's pizza pasta bake, which was amazing by the way. It turned out so good. Um, if you're interested at all, let me know and I'll um, share a link to the recipe that I very loosely followed <laughs> for that. I did very much um, go rogue on it because, yeah, it just, 
I had an idea in my mind. Well, I used the recipe as a bit of a guide rather than as a recipe per se. So yeah, I'm going to keep knitting on this sock. And I think, where's the time? I think my son will be here in about seven minutes. So as soon as he gets here, we'll head home. I haven't received any emails from Australia Post that there's anything in the P.O. box, so we might just go straight home today. Don't think I'll stop at the post office box. Although I'll check my emails maybe before I take off, just to make sure. So yeah, productive day. Very productive, very long day. I'm feeling so physically tired and sore, very sore. <laughs> Digging is hard work. Oh, and I got a blister. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that. Yeah, that'll teach me not to wear gloves the whole time. <laughs> oh, and excuse the amazing hair. I've had a hat on all day and it's all flat and in a plait braid. <laughs> the plan tonight is definitely to relax. Last night I had hoped to relax, but we spent the evening planning out what we would do today. <laughs> But we have a lovely running list of things that we're ticking off as we finish them, which feels great. Um, feels like we're really accomplishing the tasks that we set out to do, <laughs> which is nice to follow a plan. Uh, so tonight we're both going to be pretty tired. So I think there'll be a lot of couch sitting time and knitting is the plan. Okay, I've been very chatty, but I feel very sleepy, so that this, this may feel very low energy, and I'm sorry if that's the case. I am obviously a bit run down after today. We're not done yet, by the way, either. Um, here I go on a tangent again. We're not finished yet. I left my husband back at the house. He is putting the agapanthers in behind the rocks at the front, so that's a big job. We've got to separate those agapanthers out. They were also donated from our next door neighbors. So we've been very lucky with people giving us things that they're, they've had thrive in their gardens and they need to cut back. And we're benefiting from that, which has been amazing. So those agapanthers were courtesy of our next door neighbors who are really lovely people as well. And yeah, we'll get them in. And I think that's the last of the jobs for today. We were about a third of the way done when I left. I didn't take any footage. I was just keen to get in the car and go <laughs> when I realized it was time to go wait for the bus. Okay, honestly, finishing it off there now. I will talk to you either later or tomorrow. I hope um, you're having a productive day, maybe a little bit more restful than mine. <laughs>